How has entertainment gotten to the point that it's gotten to today where it's just inundated with wokeness and cultural Marxism? Hey, everybody, I'm Joe from Papa Joe Bo's, and we're going to answer that question. The first thing we have to say is that Hollywood and entertainment started being woke. I started to notice it uh, well over two decades ago. I noticed it in some of my Star Wars books near the end of the Lucas reign when he allowed those to be written. Uh, there were some woke themes in there. And I saw it in things like, you know, you saw a little bit of in Friends and things like that growing up. And it wasn't, wasn't so overt that it was horrible. Um, fast forward through all those years to when it blew up. Well, back in 2006, there was a movement called the Me Too movement. Perhaps you've heard of it. It was created by some lady back in 2006 to help women. They were hurt. And you know what I mean by that. Uh, sounds like a good movement, man. Of course, you don't want pigs out there doing that to, to boys and little girls and women. Absolutely not. I'm full, fully in support of people who want to uh, fight against that. Fast forward that movement 11 years to 2017 when the Me Too movement blew up because of that guy and another guy named Bill Cosby. Um, there is a lot to this, and I was going to do a huge video on it, but I'm just going to get to the meat and potatoes of it. Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby are two perverted men. I know there's some videos on Bill Cosby that say he's not, but all they do is read off the defense points. And what I want to say about that real quick is if all you're going to do is read off the, uh, the defense bullet points from any trial, you're going to think everyone's innocent because that's what defense lawyers do. They write their docket to prove their innocence. When you are looking at those things, you have to look at them balanced. You have to look at both sides and digest both sides, and then you can make an informed decision. Anyway, those two came out with some horrendous uh, crimes. Not, not accusation, they're crimes. They went to prison for them, and thank goodness. However, Cosby got out. We know about that. We know why it was a technicality. Anyway, Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby caused Hollywood to freak out. Well, why is that? Because so many men there and some women had done some horrible things to other human beings. You know what type of things I'm talking about. I'm not going to use the word, sorry. Uh, anyway. Uh, the type of things they did were the type of things these two monsters did. And we know what they did. Well, Hollywood, like I said, freaked out. And just to get right to the point, they decided the best way for them to not go to jail also and be taken down the same way these guys were and a number of other people were. Some of them rightfully so, some of them not. We can talk about how the Me Too movement became horrible later, but... These guys were taken down, and that was good. If you think that these two guys right here on my screen are good in any way, I don't want anything to do with you. Um, but Hollywood freaked out, and they went, we have to fix this. So how did they do it? They decided they were going to give in to anything and everything that women asked because they didn't want to be exposed and sent to prison and destroyed. Keep in mind, Many of these producers, executives, people in the business have their money, more money than we'll ever see in our lifetimes. You could supply yourself for a million years with some of the money these people have. So they didn't care about money. What they cared about was their freedom. That was paramount to them, their freedom. And they were willing to lose any amount of money to make sure that they didn't go to jail. So what they do, they gave into every last demand of a class that had been identified as an entire victimhood class, and that was women. That's insane because not every woman is a victim. Many of them will tell you that. Um, many of them who have survived this type of horror will tell you the same thing. On the other side of that are the people that took advantage of this movement and did some horrible things. Uh, <clears throat> Amber Heard, anybody? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Look, anybody who says that you're gonna fight, that a fight against doing that to men and women, or excuse me, to women and children, if you're going to fight against that, I don't want anything to do with you. Just get lost because you're kind of a scumbag if you're sticking up for these two. So Hollywood panics. They decide that they're going to uh, give in to everything that women wanted, and they did. And we started to see it in all the films, didn't we? We know what we're talking about. The MCU is there. Every single film, it seems like, was uh, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, centered around a girl and you can do those films just fine we've seen plenty of them i mean let's look at uh aliens obviously you can look at uh a video game samus aaron uh you can look at uh the first 
uh, or Terminator 2 with Sarah Connor. There's, there's so many. However, they took it, Hollywood took it way too far. And they started to subvert men on purpose at the behest of women. And uh, that's horrible. You don't tear down every character, every man in the world because someone was hurt. That doesn't make sense. If you do that, you just start a vicious cycle in life where, where everyone just hurts everyone. Well, that evolved into, well, there's other victimhood classes out there. This is Gramsci-style communism that you need to look into. Don't freak out because I said communism. Don't think it's a conspiracy theory. The biggest country on earth is communist, okay? And they use cultural Marxism to implement and enforce their form of government. So what did they do? They found some more victimhood uh, classes, you know, based on race, gender, sexuality. And they decided we have to represent all these people now. Why? Because a lot of them were and are communist activists. They went, hey, we have a chance here to get everything that we want across and to use people as the useful idiots that we think they are. And they do that. And again, useful idiots is a term Yuri Bezmenov came up with, not me. So Hollywood took the Me Too movement, and they took it too far, and they went ahead and started a bunch of other movements. And we know what they are. Um, you know, if you were if you were a black person, you were victimized. So we got to represent you and everything. And we got to race change. We got to gender change. If you're homosexual, we have to represent you and everything. And we have to make sure that you know you're a victim class. That's horrible. It takes away individuality and it takes away uh, the, the ability to tell a good story at the very, very, very least. But at the most, it's just propping up communist propaganda. How does it work? Really simple. You take a class, let's just take women and say every single one of them uh, was victimized. That's what a communist would tell you. And then you say, hey, we're going to uh, represent you. And what you guys need to do is start a revolution. Well, that's happened. That's what's going on. Now, a lot of people who might not agree with this stuff are too chicken to back out of it because they have stuff like this hanging over their head. They've done bad things, so they're willing to sell out. They have their money. They don't care, you know? The, the road to um, absolute insanity that we've seen in movies, subversion, identity politics, virtue signaling, these are all part of a plan from people who want to uh, get Gramsci style communism out there as much as they can. Um, so the fall of Hollywood or the road that we've gone down is pretty simple. That's a basic path. I want to do a much more in-depth one. I hopefully, once I get the subscribers, I'll put something together that is really in depth, but just understand this started with, uh, the me too movement it got taken too far. There were some horrible, horrible people there that got taken down that I'm glad they did. They then decided that everyone could uh, be identified as a victim class and it would help push their political agenda forward. And that's where we're at. That's exactly where we're at. We haven't left that. I hope we do. Uh, we get a couple wins every once in a while. Someone throws us a bone or someone has the, the balls to fight back, say like Elon Musk. Um, but we're not getting many of them. Uh, all I can keep doing is trying to red pill people. I don't think that coming out and constantly calling people names is something that helps to red pill people. I mean, if you can red pill someone like Russell Brand, then you can red pill anybody, anybody, I think. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I'm on point? Think I'm full of it? I think that makes a lot of sense. That's what I've noticed. Tell me what you think in the comments. My name is Joe from Papa Joe Bose. Peace.